Hey, what's up, guys? It's another day in Los Angeles. We're in downtown, uh, Skid Row. Something just happened. There's a helicopter and a lot of LAPD, so let's see what's happening out here. It looks like it could have been a police chase.
talk to her real quick. So guys, I think it, there was a police chase because if you look at the cars, uh, number 13 on them, it means they're from Newton. Uh, and over here is Central, so they must have came from like Newton Division. They're right next to each other, you know. But yeah, the number 13, that's uh, it's the Newton Station. And I don't know which one is downtown. Uh, downtown is a Central Station and uh, I have no idea what number they have. But if you look at the police cars, uh, they have these numbers on them, and that's pretty much uh, th this number will tell you where they where they from. reporting live from Los Angeles. This is Los Angeles where we see LAPD's finest grilling the rookies. Messed up. There was a couple of guns in the car and you know how it goes down. That's what's up. So now they gotta like go over the little steps and this is how you get the suspect out of the car and all that. You know she's gonna get it back at the station too. I saw that shit, it was fucking crazy. In the lobby? In front of all those places in front of the recycle joint, you don't think they're gonna come and chase his ass? Yeah. See, they had a figure 8,000 people right down to his place, so chasing him up, bumping a car. They're, they're, going, they're going to jail for some serious time because there was yeah. weapons in the car. That's why he took off, dude. Yeah. You could have just jumped down and like, hey, you know what, here's my driving license, I'm sorry, here's some dope, right. we're going to take care of it, and we got back in and it. That's why I got a dash match. He didn't even yeah, think about it. Like, I mean, before like, he was even done hopping, yeah. he was in LA, you got to be on a motorcycle to go away. Yeah. It looks like it was hit and run and they actually they got chased by LAPD and when they they got stopped they had like guns in the car just a short video you know just showing you how Los Angeles is uh, by the way the park that we did the pull-up set it's right next from here across from it is the video when uh, someone got shot like I'm telling you guys there's a lot of shootings over here but uh, that's just how this that's unfortunately how this neighborhood is perceived by a lot of people they feel that they can just you know, like, it, it's meant for people to come down here to Skid Row to recover from whatever issues they have. Unfortunately, it's also seen as a place where you can pretty much do whatever you, you want to do, you know? So, a lot of the people who come here to, I don't know, to change their life or they get dropped off here by hospitals, they end up in, uh, they, they end up in one of the worst places to be, to be honest, because so many people are gonna take advantage of them down here. It is what it is, you know, and uh, that's probably like I was telling you guys, there's a lot of good stories about the Skid Row, but also there's a lot of uh, not so good stories about this place. I'm gonna go see if I can get a nice thumbnail for this video. Uh, I don't know. Can't really see it because it's too shiny. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, I hope you come back and watch my future vlogs.